Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to show you how to monitor your lift pump pressure with your EDGE device and your EAS system. Monitoring lift pump pressures on your truck is a critical thing. So we have a lot of customers that will call us that have the edge uh, system in their truck. And by edge system, I'm talking an Insight or a Juice with Attitude or a Evolution. And the new style CTS and CS uh, monitors have a system to where if you already have a um, the expandable ready system inside of the truck, you can add several other uh, sensors to that system to monitor other parameters. So we have that in this truck here. This truck has a EGT probe on it, so it is expandable ready. Make sure that you read the instructions with your Edge product that you have to make sure that you have an expandable ready system to add another sensor. But we have that with this truck today. And if you have it, that's what we're going to talk to you about. So we want to monitor lift pump pressure on this truck. Now, um, this is going to work whether you have your stock lift pump or an aftermarket lift pump. It just so happens this truck has an aftermarket lift pump on it. So tying in for the fuel pressure sensor on this is going to be simple. And we're going to show you uh, a, a, a way to do that to make it easier for you uh, to do so. This is, a, this is an easy install and it's, it's a critical thing for you to watch. I, I feel like everybody now is, is watching uh, in the common rails or what they're so critical about uh, watching uh, rail pressure, but monitoring your lift pump pressure is important as well into the entire uh, scope of what you're trying to figure out with your truck if you're trying to diagnose something or uh, working through some performance issues. So let's, let's go ahead and get started with that. Now let's talk just a little bit about what you're gonna need. So. We have a lot of questions about this. With the pressure sensors that are offered from Edge, and I hope I grabbed the right box first, and I did not. This is the 98, part number 98607. This is the pressure sensor zero to 100 uh, PSI this will monitor. Now, this sensor is a wet or a dry sensor. So if you want to add another boost pressure sensor, this is going to be the kit for you for, for a dry application. If you want to pick up lift pump pressure like we're going to do today, this is going to work as well. Wet or dry works for you. Now, when you buy the 98607, which is, or the, I'm sorry, the 98, yeah, 98607, which is a pressure sensor, you can't just buy that sensor. You have to have the five volt reference uh, ready kit. So this is part number 98605, and what this allows you to do is this is going to allow you to tie in the pressure sensor electronically into our daisy chain EAS system so it can be read by our inside or evolution or juice, juice monitor inside the cab of the truck. So just remember, when you buy the pressure sensor, you can't just buy the pressure sensor by itself. You've got to buy the 98605 kit as well, which gets you a five volt reference uh, input kit as well. This is also another critical piece if you want to do any other expansions. Um, this will add, let you have two more five volt sensor drops in this so you can add another pressure sensor or any other, uh, any other type of pressure sensor as long as on a five volt reference. So now that all that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with our installation. All right, let's talk about the setup here. We want to pull this out on the bench so you could just kind of concentrate on seeing what we've got. So we're going to show you what's in the universal sensor input five volt kit here. So what you're going to get in this kit and is you're going to get your drop that will accept two five volt reference uh, sensor inputs. So I need, this could be a couple of uh, you know, pressure sensors or, or whatever, as long as it's five volt reference again, but you got to drop, it will accept two of them. All right, also inside the kit, you're going to get wiring drops. This can be used for the sensor inputs as long as it's again, a five volt reference. So if you've got to wire in your own sensor, you can do that with these. They include two of them inside the kit you're going to get an instruction uh, booklet that's gonna to talk to you about the different five volt sensors, how you wire them up, what the uh, 
what the polarities are going to be of that, so on and so forth. So that's going to be a really, really nice um, thing or very helpful for you is that instruction manual on this. So there's the drop for this. So I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to need this side of it. Now, I want to talk just a little bit about the sensor and bring another product into this that we offer. This is a fuel pressure T from Air Dog, and what this is, is this is just a simple little fitting. It's push to lock on both ends, half inch, so you know all of your fast delivery lines are half inch and your Air Dog delivery lines are half inch, but this is half inch delivery line, and what we can do, what we'll do there is we'll just cut that and splice this in. It has a 1 8 by 27 MPT port in it for your fuel pressure sensors. Now, in the kit for the fuel pressure sensor, the 98607, you are going to get a pre-wired wiring harness. This has the electrical connectors that we need on it and the, the, the uh, drop for the universal input. So we don't have to cut and splice anything. This is ready to go. And then you actually have your pressure sensor that is going to come with this um, from Edge. Again, this is a wet or a dry sensor, either one, you're good to go here on this. So. All right, um, this is 1 8 by 27 NPT threads here. So what we will do, or this is an NPT thread. Again, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and screw this into our splice and have it ready. I'll put a little bit of pipe tape on this just to make sure it's clean, make sure it doesn't get around the end of this and doesn't clog the sensor up. Uh, but you'll want to install this sensor and you'll want to tighten this down snugly. So we're going to take this over the bench. We're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll have this ready for our installation. Just wanted to show you what is coming with these products uh, and how you hook this up. So you will have your sensor input from the edge will go directly into the sensor here. And then of course, this end to a five volt drop. All right, so we're gonna show you in this instance installing um, this fuel pressure sensor. Now this is a uh, aftermarket fuel system again, air dog system, so half inch fuel lines. We're using this fuel pressure teach from air dog. Um, but this is 1 8 by 27 MPD sizing for this um, sensor. So you can install this wherever you choose to fabricate your own thing. We offer banjo bolts that have 1 8 by 27 MPT uh, recessed threads in them for you to install a fuel pressure sensor. A lot of different ways to do this. It's not always the same, but you know, for you guys to have a fast or an air dog, all you have to do is get your supply line going to, you know, like this Raptor is going to your fuel pressure canister or, uh, you know, to your injection pump, if, if that be the case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this a little bit close to the fitting because I want to have a little bit easier access to the fitting itself. So. We're just going to go ahead and install this, uh, install this fuel pressure T here, and we'll run this up in lines. Of course, have some grease there on hand to make this a little bit easier on it. And then I'll go ahead and install it on the other end of the line. We'll cut back into it when we put it uh, reinstalling this in, in the engine compartment. All right, one thing that I had failed to mention there is most of your aftermarket fuel systems, air dog fast, uh, whatnot, have a 1 8 by 27 MPT port on the system themselves. Now, if it's a pump with filter, it'll have a port for your fuel pressure sensor. So though that this sensor will screw directly into that. But if you have a Raptor or uh, an adjustable pump uh, and just the lines, then you'll need this little T that we worked with. So nothing special right here. What we're gonna be doing is I'm just gonna run this down to the uh, fuel pressure sensor itself and hook it in. So I'll take out a little bit of length of my wire and then I'll tie the other end back up so I don't lose it. And I'll just be taking this down to the sensor itself. And then you're gonna want your wiring to route back towards your expansion system. Next step is to hook our drop up to our fuel pressure sensor. What I've done is I've cleaned that up just a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into 
the connection here for the drop so it clicks. Now you find your edge expandable system and you want to take your dust cap off of the end. It's not being used, but keep your dust cap because you're going to reinsert that. And we are going to turn this correctly in the system. Turn your lock and collar till it accepts the next step. Then there you go. Then put your dust cap back on the other end. If you can find the, and then lock that down. And there you go. So now we have our system, we have our fuel pressure sensor plugged in. We should be ready to go. Let's go in here and fire it up on the edge. All right, once you have your EAS sensor installed here, we're gonna show you how to uh, set it up on your uh, edge product inside Evolution Juice Statue CS CTS screen. So on the CTS is you just touch the gauge that you where you want it to come up and hit select new PID. And what you will go to is I put this on sensor A, so I'm going to touch universal sensor A. And then at this point, if you go back out to the home screen and I'll show you this, it's going to come up and it's going to show zero. All right. So you need to configure this. So go back to select new PID and we can hit universal input A again, just like that. And now what we can do is hit configure EAS and we can select EAS type right here. And this is a zero to 100 PSI, um, zero to 100 PSI sensor right here. device will reboot come back up this is an evolution we haven't tuned this truck yet with it so it might take just a second here so through the magic of video Jim can fast forward us through all right so now you see we have it up in PSI now so 13.3 PSI lift pump pressure everything working just fine there so we can rename this gauge now, and that's what we'll do. We'll go to select new PID, because I've got this here. Actually, you know what? I thought it would let me, yeah, it will. Do it, configure EAS. I want to rename this gauge, apologize. We'll just call it lift pump. lift pump and PSI so we'll play around with that and get it right but that is how you install a pressure gauge on your edge EAS system so easy install uh, just make sure that when you get this you understand that you you buy the pressure gauge and then you have to get the 5 volt reference or the 5 volt universal input drop so if you have a question about this installation or any other edge products give us a call please like and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching